Well, good morning again. I just kind of had to do a second video here on the mango trees because our front mango field just look at the growth here. And I mean the new growth on this mango tree. Uh, it, it's, it's taken over the tree to the point where you cannot even tell anymore where any of the old growth is remaining. Just look at this. Every day I'm so amazed at what an absolute outstanding job pruning these mango trees has been. Uh, the growth is just absolutely phenomenal and like I've told you previously I found out over the last few years that once the dry season begins the growth just goes into overdrive and it seems to be a, a signal for them uh, to start growing and producing the new mangoes here but look at this how it's uh, basically taken over all the mango trees here and the new growth is uh, is spreading and you can tell basically by the color the lighter green color versus uh, here is the darker green the older growth and of course the lighter green color here uh, looking so good and even on trees that weren't doing much at all here seems to be doing exceptionally well look at this all the growth on this tree which has not done well has not produced really much fruit uh, they just uh, really love to be trimmed they all got a haircut <laughs> I mean they definitely got a haircut Look at what cutting off this branch did. That I was afraid that we might not get much growth out of it. And what's there? I am absolutely amazed. And I hope anybody watching this video that has dwarf mango trees, uh, you learn from kind of my mistakes of having waited so long and so many years to actually prune the trees. And they're still not exactly where I want them either, but uh, they're in their growth period right now. And I really don't want to disturb that, so we'll leave them alone from here. But uh, like I said, the growth is just, wow, phenomenal. Look at this. I am so pleased with what, with what uh, I did here and the amount that I, I pruned off of them and that the growth is uh <laughs> wow yeah and if you're deciding that you'd like to grow some dwarf mangoes like I said these are two and three root dwarf mangoes that are grafted together by a local Filipino here that's on the main highway going into Taliban and uh, we purchased a bunch of these trees uh, like I said wow just really uh, outstanding what the growth is here and give you an idea just kind of panning through the trees here so I just kind of had to include a second video here uh, so happy to see the see the results uh, I experimented with this really knowing nothing to little about it and uh, through some videos that I watched I, I was able to get a little bit of a basic knowledge and then went ahead and gave it a shot and then found out it really wasn't enough and went through and trimmed them and pruned them a second time and that and uh, I'm gonna leave them sit now I think uh, they're at that stage where I don't want to really disturb them anymore so I'm gonna say goodbye again <laughs> uh sorry for the two videos here but uh just walking around i do my early morning walk around and that and sometimes it's just amazing what happens in two to three days here so from the back of the camera goodbye and uh thanks for viewing the video and hope you uh learned something through this and like i said anybody interested 
in uh, dwarf mangoes. Uh, I hope you get a few lessons here that will help you decide that uh, you want these type of trees and then be able to find them so you can grow them here in the Philippines. So God bless everybody and I'll probably be back shortly.